Okay, what's up, guys? So in this video, we're going to be talking about subject lines. Firstly, what are subject lines? Well, they are the, the short single line text that appears next to the sender's name when you receive an email. And it's an, an important factor to, to determine whether your emails get opened, right? So it's a, it's a component of your cold email strategy that you want to optimize because when you do, it's going to have a meaningful impact on um, positive replies, leads generated from your campaigns. It's all well and good crafting an amazing cold email, but if it's, if it's not getting opened and, and read, then it's it's worthless, right? So we want to make sure we do everything we can to overcome that first hurdle of just ensuring our emails get uh, get opened. Now, there's two strategies to crafting subject line subject lines. Strategy one and strategy two. Strategy two is our favorite approach and one we're going to really explore on this video. But strategy one is always is also effective. Strategy one is creating subject lines that create the impression that your cold email is an internal email. It's it's an email from an employee, for example, from, from a manager. And it therefore just gets opened almost subconsciously because it's part of the recipient's just daily workflows. And this approach is becoming really, really popular. Uh, the classic examples are um, pen, quick idea for you, or pen, um, quick update, or pen this morning, um, or just removing any text altogether and having an empty subject line, or pen Q4 update. So they are becoming more popular, and like anything that becomes more popular in cold outreach, it loses its its potency, its efficacy, because it come, becomes saturated, and the recipients, the buyers, become savvy to it and deem it disingenuous and just, just dismiss it. Um, so that approach still works, provided that the actual copy is unique, right? So it's 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 just it's it, it's unique. It's distinctive from all the other lines that people are using for this specific approach. Strategy two is where we create a just hyper personalized, very concise line that encapsulates both the recipient's details, their name, their company, and also incorporates what the email is about, it, it, even if it's just in, in, in one or two words. And so how we do that is in Clay. I'm sure if you're watching this, you've come across Clay, you're familiar with it, or you use it yourself. And what we do is we use a GPT for a mini enrichment to generate a super personalized, concise subject line that pulls on all those levers. We address their name, their company name, their industry, um, whilst also shedding a little bit of light on what we're actually proposing. The worst subject lines are ones that are just like really salesy and gimmicky and, and, and excessively long, or even worse, they bear no relevance to the actual body of the email. And that is a really fast way to erode trust and um, disengage the, the recipients, right? Because that's very salesy and, and, and manipulative. So well, like I said, what we'll do in Clay is uh, we'll run that GPT enrichment, we'll run it for every single row, and then we'll just push it to Smart Lead or you know, our, C our outreach sequencer as a variable. So how we actually do that in Clay is we run a GPT 4.0 mini in enrichment. And what we are doing is adding in the first name, the normalized company name, a summary of the company of the company to ensure that the the subject line is is really personalized to them, not just on the first name and company level, but also on on the industry. And we've also provided some instructions on the kind of service we're providing, our value proposition. So in this context, and um, this is this is for one of our clients. They provide on demand legal services. So. As we can see, this prompt incorporates both their first name, their normalized company name, their industry, and then what we're talking about is its compliance, le legal issues. And we are disrupting patterns by using a, a normalized company name and using that at symbol. So pattern disruptors is an important principle in cold outreach 
copywriting. It's essentially the practice of breaking norms, doing something different to stand out. Of just a very important principle generally, given we're in this era of we're in this volume based era of outbound, and buyers are bombarded with so many more messages than than ever before. So our our messaging has to has to stand out, and using subtle things just like at you know the at symbol, uh, and then like I said, the normalized company name to make to make it seem natural and, and kind of off the cuff. Um, but regardless, it's going to feel super personal to them when we're incorporating all those three personalization points of their name, their company name, and their 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 industry, or just some insight on um, that their, their industry. So. That is our that is our approach to, to subject lines. That of course ensures that every single subject line is very unique. I don't have data on whether that optimizes for deliverability, but I suspect it does. Um, just in the same way that our cold emails need to be as variable and diverse as possible, it would be reasonable to expect that that principle would uh, apply to subject lines as well. So um, this is our approach to subject lines. I hope this is useful. It's super easy to do in Clay, and then you just push this variable to Smart Lead. 